Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. I'm Charlotte Dobre and today we're going to try to answer the controversial question, is obesity actually a disease? Meaning, is obesity a disease or is it a result of one's personal lifestyle choices? Obesity affects many. Two out of every three Americans are considered to be overweight or obese. Obesity leads to over 120,000 preventable deaths each year in the United States. Not to mention, it is very expensive to be obese. An American that is considered obese spends on average $1,429 more in medical expenses every year. Yet obesity is seen as preventable, whereas other diseases and conditions are not. Many argue that obesity should not be considered a disease because often it is self inflicted. There are many behavior patterns that contribute to obesity. It's basic science eating too much will eventually make you obese, and not exercising will also contribute to that. And what's more, classifying obesity as a disease is a way of legitimizing. It, making it worthy of insurance coverage and medical attention. It may have to depend on the cause of obesity in each individual case. But then, how would you judge each individual case? How would you decide who is worthy of insurance coverage and medical attention? Obesity can have many causes, but only some would, in turn, classify it as a disease. Obesity can be caused by genetics or even a thyroid malfunction. It can also be caused by the hyperfunctioning of the adrenal gland, otherwise known as Cushing syndrome. But importantly, the condition is often a result of inactivity and overeating. Overeating, for many, is a lifelong habit that's become part of their behavior. That's why counseling patients about overeating and treating obesity can be so difficult for doctors. Patients might have to completely change their lifestyle. But when a patient does choose to commit, the success stories are incredibly inspiring. How is it possible for some obese people to take the initiative to lose weight, but others choose to keep their unhealthy habits and then in turn require medical insurance coverage? Diseases occur when the body is malfunctioning. Turning extra calories into fat is not a malfunction, it's normal physiology. If we are saying that obesity is a disease, then you could also classify it as a body malfunction, which it is not. Let's compare obesity to another disease, like alcoholism. Alcoholism is an addiction to the consumption of alcoholic liquor. It is also classified as a mental illness and compulsive behavior resulting from alcohol dependency. In short, alcoholism is also classified as an addiction. Does that mean obesity is also considered an addiction? An addiction to food? Maybe in some respects, but perhaps the most striking similarity between alcoholism and obesity is they are both preventable conditions. So after we have heard all the facts, is obesity really a disease? Well, according to Mosby's Dictionary of Medicine, a disease is either one, a condition of abnormal vital function involving any structures, part, or system of an organism, or two, a specific illness illness or disorder characterized by a recognizable set of signs and symptoms which can be hereditary, an infection, diet or environment. Which means that yes, obesity would fall in line with what you would call a disease. In 2013, the American Medical Association voted to classify obesity as a disease. It decreases someone's life expectancy. Once a person is obese, it does impair normal body functions. However, obesity has many causes. Someone who eats too much and doesn't exercise would be entitled to the same insurance coverage as someone who was born with a disorder that makes them obese. There is no way to fairly decide who can help their obesity and who can't. So either all cases of obesity are classified as diseases, or none of them are. And you can't take away insurance coverage for those people who are not at fault for their condition. I'm Charlotte Dobre for Life's Biggest Questions. Don't forget to like this video and share it with a friend, and subscribe to LBQ.